Dear friend, you are welcome to my channel. Happy to see you again. All right, so in this video, we are going to learn how to measure the DC power output of a lead lamp. All right, so the instrument generally known for the measurement of electric power is the watt meter. But in this video, I'm going to use a multimeter to do that. So how am I going to do that? Very well. We know that basically power is the product of voltage and current. And so if there is a way that we can measure the voltage and the current in the same circuit, then we should be able to get the amount of power that will be consumed by that load. So I'm talking about DC voltage and DC current because the load we are considering here is a DC load. We are actually talking about a lead lamp. And so all the measurements we are going to do are going to be at the output of the lead driver. Okay. But as a general caution, before you use your measuring meter to measure any quantity at all, you must make sure that the quantity you are measuring is lower than the range that the meter can measure. For instance, if you are measuring voltage, make sure that the result you get from that measurement will be lower than the highest amount of voltage that the meter is made to measure. All right, so first of all, we'll take a measurement of the voltage that goes to the lamp. And then we we'll also take the current that is taken by the lamp, after which we can find the power. All right, so let's get started. This is the output to the LED module. So I'm going to measure the voltage across these two lines. Before I can do that, I have to switch the lamp on. So I use the black lead to the blue wire, which is neutral, and then here. All right, so the DC output voltage to the lamp is 35.8 volts. As you can see, 35.8 volts. All right, so let me record this somewhere. I want to measure the current and then we'll use those information to calculate the power. Okay, so in measuring the current, I have to cut this wire and then place the amp meter in series with this wire but i don't want to cut it so i'll just hit my soldering iron and then remove it gently okay so i'll remove this one gently then for safety i will connect this switch in series with this cable so that i'll be able to do the test from this switch Okay, then I'll connect another wire from here to the lamp. Okay, so what I have simply done is that to enable me to measure the DC current that this lamp is consuming, I needed to break the live wire that is connected to the positive terminal of the LED module. And then when I did that for safety uh, reasons, I have to use this switch so this line is coming from the output of the driver and then this one is going to connect to the LED module and then I'll place my meter in series with these two wires to measure the current that is going to the lamp. Okay. So now I have to solder this to the LED module. Okay, that is done. Now, because I'm measuring current, I'm going to tune to direct current. So this is direct current. And then it can measure up to 20 amps. Let me put it on the highest. That is 20 amp. All right. And then when inserting the leads, I'll use this slot and then this one. Okay. So red goes here and then black stays in common all right my regulator is set to 20 amp direct current okay so so this switch has to go off off and then my neutral lead to this terminal and then live lead to that terminal and then a reading of 4.19 amps 
Very well. So now that we are able to get our voltage and our current, we can now calculate the power of the lamp. All right, so we got a voltage of 35.8 volts, and then the current is 4.19. So simply, we multiply 35.8 volts by 4.19 amps, and that gives us a total of 150.002 watts. So approximately from the measurement we have done, the multimeter is able to give us the power rating of the lamp as 150 watt. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please, if you have learned something new from this video, kindly hit on the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe to stay connected. See you in my next video.